Extraordinary Dogs is brought to you by Yukonuba, where we believe all dogs are extraordinary. After leaving their puppy raisers, dogs are assigned to a guide dog instructor. Training starts um, in very, very quiet, much quieter areas, very quiet areas, very positive type of work. Um, and as the dog begins to progress in, in his work, then we will move the dog to busier areas, asking more of the dog, expecting more of the dog. Um, our work is very positive. We use a lot of positive reinforcement. We use a lot of food in our training. So it becomes kind of a game for the dog um, and a fun game. It might be fun for the dog, but the skills they are learning require a high degree of intelligence. We teach dogs how to avoid certain obstacles that might be in their way. And so it's really important that the dog begins to learn that they have to not only navigate themselves through obstacles, but they have to make sure that there's enough room for themselves and the person. All guide dogs need to retain their natural instinct, something that can be determined, oddly, by the characteristic of occasionally ignoring their owner's command. Although this behavior could be viewed as a negative trait, it is these instinctual actions that are necessary and even encouraged in guiding dogs. This instinct is called intelligent disobedience. Intelligent disobedience is what a dog does when he or she realizes that the command given could be dangerous to both dog and handler. The dog then disobeys out of common sense rather than disobedience. It is one of the most important safety skills for any guide dog. The busy streets of New York City are especially challenging for us humans, never mind a dog. On the rare instance that I make a wrong decision about crossing the street, Tommy has a training where if I told him to go forward but there was a car or anything coming that I hadn't taken note of, he actually wouldn't go forward so he knows enough to not get us hit by things. But Tommy can ignore the distractions of the city and focus solely on his job because of something called docosahexanoic acid, or DHA. Docahexanoic acid is a polyunsaturated fatty acid that's absolutely necessary for good neuronal development, for good brain tissue development. And in fact, if puppies don't have that, they don't make tight neuronal connections, they don't grow enough of the brain tissue necessary to make the connections, and they become um, more reactive and less attentive. Well, a more reactive and less attentive dog can't learn. We absolutely know DHA is essential for retinal development. For Blessing, Tommy's ability has provided a freedom that he lacked before. Tommy's helped me throughout this whole process by, uh, along with the guiding he does, his, his particular brand of cuteness gets me into places I don't think I would otherwise be allowed into. Tommy made me moving to New York more feasible, I think, because obviously travel wouldn't be a big deal with a dog as smart as he is.